Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim here in Karth Waston. And if we thought we might ever find a crappier, more useless town than Shortstone, well, hear it, flipping it. We arrived in town last time, we did one speech check, and the town is saved. Job done, so I guess we better move on as there's no shop, and no blacksmith, and no anything of any- Actually, you know what? No, there is something of value here. There's a silver mine. I could mine it out, create like a whole bunch of silver ingots, create a whole bunch of jewellery. Maybe we'll come back for all of that. But first, before we continue on our major journey over towards uh, Markov, down the road by going down there and around, uh, can't help but notice, in particular, Dragon Wall somewhere up there. I don't see a road that would logically lead up there, so Benor, I guess we're going on foot. Here we go, just around the corner from the town, we've got ourselves what looks like a fairly nice, gentle slope. That should hopefully just straight up there, and also to... Actually, that looks like it's closer. Yeah, whatever that is, that's really, really close. Though, actually, am I allowed to... Yes, I can run up here. Just, Ben or might struggle a little bit, but just hammer that jump button. Yep, we're good. Now, there's something up in this direction, very close by. Okay, but the dragon wall's here as well. Okay, hang on, hang on. Ben or? But Ben or? Ben or? Ben, Ben. He'll probably catch up later, it's fine. There he is, he made it up top, lovely. Now, we're very close by to something. I Actually, it might be significantly. Oh. I might be significantly higher up than it is. Actually, we may have got the altitude slightly, uh... Sl okay, right, Ben, or we'll loop back round to that, because, yeah, I definitely feel like it's significantly, significantly... Also, there's some weird, weird sort of see-through hanging moss here. Yeah, I think it's down there. I'm pretty sure it's actually down there. So, we'll loop back round to that, and there's also a convenient tower to actually take cover in. But no, first... In that case, we'll go and check out the weird beacon or tower or lift symbol over in this direction. Because that's got to be... Ooh, hello. That looks like flipping standing stones, but I know for a fact it's not because that's the wrong symbol. Right. What exactly have we come across here then? Also, weapons out. This is the sort of place where necromancers totally hang out. No. Uh, ooh, hang on. I was told about this. Yeah! This is a quest I was supposed to find. Apparently I was supposed to find Kesh at the Periite Shrine. But who exactly is that? And is, is this the shrine? I mean, it's got a lot of things sacrificed on it. Maybe don't like harvest mushrooms on it. Right. So, who are you and why am I here again? Because I think someone told me about this place. But I don't remember. Ooh, the buying game. Gosh darn it, I've already read it. Right, um, why am I here exactly? Ah, a wanderer, yes. No, pilgrim, perhaps. You have come to commune with Periyte, Taskmaster, and Belated Lord, yes? Oh yeah, abso flipping lootly. Remind me who he is exactly? He is the pass in the wound. Oh, proper ones curl their noses, but it's pass that drinks foul humors and restores the blood. I worship Periyte, yes, because sometimes the world can only be cleansed by disease. Right, so he sounds evil and terrifying. Yeah, let's commune with him. Not everyone has the stomach required to entreat, my lord. But Cash likes you, friend. There is a way Periyte may speak to us who will take him in. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Okay, what incense is that then? Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower, one silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire dust. Then I will show you how. Okay, that strikes me as eminently doable. Yeah, okay, so I've already got a flawless thing on me. I'll have plenty of vampire dust. Actually, I've surely got some on me already because I haven't been using it for anything. Yeah, got the vampire dust already. Do we have the... I've got a death bell flower. Do I have... I must have a flawless ruby on me, surely. Yeah, I've got... I think I've got literally all of this already. Yeah, I've already got all of that. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect. That's just... You know what? I think possibly Benor. I think I may have a problem with hoarding. 
Okay, by sheer coincidence, those four obscure ingredients just mentioned, um, I happen to have all of those on my person already. Here you go. Ah, have you? Let Cash have them. Yes, yes, this will create a fine fume. Ah, are we going on a weird spirit trippy journey thing? I'm guessing we are, yes. That should do. Now, inhale deeply. All right, got to inhale the fumes. Benor, you stay here. I suspect I'm going on a spirit journey or something. To meet a dark god of disease. Yes, I know it doesn't sound like a great idea. Shut up. And in we go. Inhale the incense fumes. And that guy's already disappeared slightly. Do it. And the world is suddenly glowing. Breathe deep, mortal. I would have you hear me well. So let these vapors fill your lungs. Hello there, Periite. So what's your deal and what do you want exactly? I have watched you for some time, you know. The decisions you've made intrigue me. And I wonder if you are the proper agent for a task of mine. You know what? I'll gladly do it. I sent a blessing to Mundus. A wasting plague that infected a scattering of Breton villages. One of my monks, the elf Orchendor, was sent to gather these afflicted. He shepherded them into Bathardons for me, but has since lost his way. I will not stand for betrayal. I want you to go to Bathardons and kill Orchendor in my name. Okay. Go to place, kill bloke. Fine, and what exactly do I get out of this? The pettiness of mortals. I had almost forgotten. I can grant you a powerful token for this task. An escutcheon of Dweamer make, capable of shielding you from both the spell and sword. Return when the elf lies dead, and it will be yours. Okay, I'm not 100% convinced on that, but yeah, sure. In fact, actually, you know what? I'd rather have the ability to conjure spectral rats. If you gave me the ability to, like, you know, conjure a horde of spectral rats, I'd totally go for that, but you know what? Why not? Wherever that is, we'll go and check if it's vaguely nearby somewhere I've already been. So you have. Mortal, go now. Kill Orchendor. And I go wibbly again. And back to the real world. Lovely. Can I tell you about my vision by any chance? How can I assist? Hmm? Ah, I can actually ask him where this place is. Not far, not far. This one looks upon it on clear days. Look to the west at the foot of the mountain. The dwarven ruins there. But Adams. All right, fine. Anything you can tell me about this guy I'm supposed to kill? Orchendo? Cash know him. He is an overseer, shepherd, gathers the afflicted, contains the festering wound. Orchendo and his afflicted are meant to stand ready, awaiting Periite's command to cover the world with his blessing. Right, so a plague village full of sick people waiting for a command in order to go out and infect everyone. Marvellous! Marvellous God, I'm glad I'm helping him. And indeed, he's not kidding, it is not far at all, so... Oh, go on then, as I'm flipping here. Ah, good, and I've waited till morning and it's a bit of a nicer day. Not perfect, but it's not actually tipping it down with rain, so that's nice. In fact, possibly that might be it right there. No, no, don't even, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Ben or that was a really early swing, but all right, whatever. Let's just head down this way. Yeah, that big building over there is probably... The one feels like we've got a fairly easy route down here. Nice empty plain, nothing major. Passing by, actually, passing by, well, not exactly a road, but a well-worn path. Bare minimum, yep, that indeed over there is a building rafter. Lovely, nice and simple. 
Here we go, approaching from above. And we have discovered the Bahamadas. Okay, whatever it's called, we've discovered it. And also, there's bad stuff around here. Ah, who are you exactly? Just some random... Ah, afflicted. Right, they're going to attack me on sight, are they? Now, how tough are they? Not so bad. Now, I've been told, apparently, interestingly, the um, the perk to make the Atronax more powerful does not actually affect the Dremora Lord. Moira is not affected by that in the... Ooh, blimey, beheaded him. Dear, oh dear. Doesn't actually impact him, which is kind of weird because I'm really unclear whether that's intentional or not because the um, cast Atronax at double distance perk does affect the Dremora Lord, but the Antronax are more powerful, doesn't. So I've had a thought about this. In fact, actually one community member was very generous enough to actually just kind of knock together a quick mod for that to actually fix that. I think it's probably intentional because he's not actually got... Oh, Ben or day late and a dollar short as usual. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now and we're going to see because Dremor Lord seems to be doing the job. Good old Moira is doing just fine. What I will say, for while I'm thinking about Conjuration and all of its various fuzziness and bits and pieces is, uh, of course, we're getting very close to Dremor Lord. Get up there and take out another afflicted, please. We're getting pretty close by two. Conjuration, 100. When I had 100, should I be actually turning Conjuration into a legendary ability and thus resetting it to 15? Because my instinct would be yes, because I've got enough magic to cast my spells anyway, so I can just level up with it fairly simply. Oh, they've got a unique vomiting attack. That's very, very cool indeed. So my instinct would be yes, but if you think it would actually be a terrible idea, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll have a think about that before we actually get to it. Now, anything major? No. These guys are actually badly... Armoured by the looks of things. No real good stuff on them at all. And we've got some more people. Ow, we've got actual flipping mages down there. Right, you go over there. Take care of those lads. I think we need to... Actually, someone's dead here already. How did you die? I'm not sure. Right, while well, you're just taking care of them for the time being, I'm going to head up top, see what we've got going on over this lovely bridge here. Ah, okay. Locked door. Load zone or just storeroom? Uh, no, presumably Skyrim door, fine. So you lads, you are still the afflicted, just magical afflicted. Mitchell, I'm not sure like when you get sick why you'd come over to the guy who made you sick or whatever, but... Okay, fine, I guess maybe it affects their mind. Ah! Okay, they were also supposed to hit this switch to basically, you know, hit me with a massive swirly blade of death, but they didn't, so that's good. Uh, unless, of course, no, this will presumably be for the exterior door, right? Yep, fine. That lets me in there. Very, very good. Anything around the side? Nope, nothing at all. Right, in we go, lads. And here we go into the upper district. Definitely the right place because, yeah, there's all this kind of bubbling green goo everywhere. So, uh, pretty much, we've kind of found the super mutants of Skyrim here. Which is, yeah, they've got big vats of green stuff. And they're just waiting for the word to convert everyone into basically infected monsters. Well, that's good. That's quick vass over there and we've got ourselves not a huge amount round here and those people are either asleep or underground or rats potentially they didn't look like normal standing up people on guard I'll just keep cracking through all of these have a look around oh, there's a few more it's just they're way more down in that direction okay and we've got ah have I just found some sleepy... Oh, I have. Ben or stay still. still here. I'm gonna badass this. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Yeah, you just stand guard. That's fine. Right. Activate silent muffle. Muffle has been silently activated. Wait for... New shout. In we go. Right, go, 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 go. Dead one. And go, 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 go. Dead two. And I think the other one is actually in a different room, unfortunately. But don't worry, Benor. I'm badassing this. It's okay. Ah, oh, wait. No, no, no. I think they're just around here. Bass. Bass number three. Yes, indeed. Don't you worry, Benor. I got this. I'm just going to top up a muffle just in case it's worn off. Illusion goes up to 68, getting very close to 75, which is a very exciting number. And boom. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? We're kicking ass now, Benor. So it feels like that might actually be the correct way. So this is... Ah, okay, sorry. So that path directly in front of me was into that room already. That was just a different way in through here. Fine. Let's be on our way, Benor. 
more people to assassinate Jess. And if we're lucky, by the looks of it, more of them are lying down, not standing up. Okay, we got three people around here, but they're most definitely standing, unfortunately. And they've also got a really cool little shrine there. Okay, I think we know what to do here. Moira, this one is on you. In you go, Moira. Right, conjuration at flipping 97. Yeah, the questions we've got about conjuration and what we should do in terms of uh, the... Oh, blimey. You're getting really good at decapitating people. Yeah, this is a cool shrine. I like this shrine with the... What is that? Like evil vultures or something and all of the green smoke. Yeah. This is cool. Right, what have we got coming up ahead of us? Nothing for a little bit. This is... Ah! We're in a very big room now. Ooh, I like all of this. You really have converted this place into a massive, like, Dwemer production facility for the FEV, haven't you? Blimey, this is cool. Right, let's just toss you over there. Let's just get this party started. You just head over there, take out that guy and distract them. Lovely. He'll probably kill those guys nice and simple. That guy's just gonna bow it up a little bit. Benor, where are you? Benor, we should probably be getting involved, Benor. Right, there's time to go down, and the attention has been drawn. So now just get around the back of the archers. No, no, and no. And no. Oh, you're already dead. Already very dead. Right, is there someone else around here? I suspect there is. Also, there's a lever. I'm gonna pull the lever. Does that just... Yep, that just opens the way forward. Good. Rather than activating some form of death trap. And technically, we're not even in the right section yet. We've got to get down to presumably like the lower city catacomb till we're even in the same load zone as this guy. Speaking of which, though, I think we're getting very, very close by to that. But watch out for the pressure plates down there. Fine. So that's the right way to go. So in here, we've got... Ah. Okay. Suspicious we're about to walk into some actual Dwemer traps here. Potentially... Yep! Thought so! Benor, take care of it please, thank you! And these are just Sphere Guardians, Benor's doing a competent job here. One Sphere goes down, yep, there's one down. Benor, get on the others, I think Moira's already doing a good job over there in fact. Yep, lovely, thought you guys might be showing up. Oh, never mind, well done. Right, this better be worth it. Four gold, oh marvellous. Right. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Nobody step on this pressure plate, okay? Because anyone who steps on this pressure plate is going to immediately kill me. And you actually didn't as well. Well, bloody done. Right, a few more people down here. Get Moira in on top of them to draw their attention. And as soon as they're all focused over there... Oh, hello. We've got ourselves people who are sort of... Are you a naked... I was about to say night elf, but no, that's not a thing. Or have you just got slightly weirdly coloured skin because of the whole being sick thing? Yeah, I think you're just like, you know, a dark elf that's gone purple. Very World of Warcrafty. Also, while I appreciate that Periot wants, like, you know, the guy who's lost his way to die, I do feel like he's basically sent me into the place where I'm going to ruin his own plan to do it. Like, he did set up this city in order to poison and disease the world. That is still his plan, presumably, unless he has a big change of heart. Like, you know... It feels like this is something Meridia should have told me to, like, oh, I don't like that Periite, go and deal with his followers and I'll reward you or something, but no. No, Periite basically has sent me over here to kill all of his followers and ruin his own plan, so alright, fine, whatever. And into the workshop we go. Now, how busy is this here workshop? Quite busy. Right, there's someone there, you go and take care of that, please, lovely. Open up the gate, and we've got ourselves... Ooh, private little incense altars or whatever. I'll just loot while those guys get on with that. Ooh, there's nothing even to loot in here. Blimey, well, that's disappointing. You guys just go over there, murder that guy. I could have totally taken that guy out in a badass way, but whatever. Ooh, afflicted note. Hello. So, Arkandor has gone down to the airdrome. Okay, he believes some of the old Dwemer machines down there will help him commune with our blighted lord. Oh, dear. He's lost his way with those foolish machines or something, I guess. That suggests, yes indeed, we're still not in the right bloody level. We need to go another bloody level down and get down to the airdrome yet. I've just checked, unfortunately, the Black Star is currently empty. Right, need to sort that out. Where's the some... You're a person! Right, new bound sword. And new of you. Now, go and just murder those folks, please. Lovely, now, just quickly get some damage in on you. Good, got your soul. Now, 
very quickly, because we can get ourselves a new soul in a second. What needs recharging? Ooh, my ebony sword could do with a recharge. Perfect. Right, Black Star. Charges that. Right. Hello, I'm going to need your soul as well. Oh! Hoo -hoo! Right. You are not that good at your job. Lovely. Right, just get in there. Stab that guy. And we've got ourselves some... Ooh, some water. That's not poison. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Now, by any chance, is that the airdrome? No, that's the upper district. Bloody hell, how big is this place? Now, I think I actually know who might need a recharge. Benor! What is it? By any chance, does your hammer need a recharge? Because I suspect it does at this point. Yes, indeed it does. I thought so. Right. Give me that for a second. Now, recharge that with the Black Star. Beautiful. Okay. Benor, you can have that back then. Go. Also, I've just given him an Orcish helmet I found. The base I'm only carrying so I can sell it later. It's just kind of destruction magic is cheaper. So you know what? Sure, he can wear that for a bit if he wants to. Go on then. Right, now the upper flipping district. Yes. How much is flipping here then? And is... A few things, not so much. Like four people there. Oh, I like this. I like your shrines. Your shrines are really, really damn cool. Right, let's go around here. Get ourselves a new Dramora Lord as soon as we see anyone. Just to get him up front. Hello over there. Why don't you just draw all the attention in the world? Then me and Benor will just get behind them. Now, just get behind you. And get behind you. And oh my goodness, I've captured your soul. And we've got into... Ooh, you found a flipping Dwemer helmet, didn't you? Dear oh flipping dear. Right, ouch. Someone just flipping shot me. Someone go and kill that guy. Whoever just shot me. Thank you. Now this is interesting. So, another load zone away is somewhere, but there's a dwelling here. So, what exactly is... Oh. Hello. I know you can't hear me, brother. I don't like what we've become. We've been here so long. And what do we have to show for it? Or Chender promised a place where we would be accepted and taken care of. He promised Periite would be present at all times and give us comfort in our suffering. Forgive me for saying this, brother, but I have not felt Periite's presence. I want out. I want to leave this place. I long for the fresh air of the Reach. This place only makes us sicker. But who am I kidding? I know you wouldn't let me leave, brother. You truly believe- Mark you smell weakness. No, don't go in! We were listening to that conversation. We were having a nice conversation there, but okay, fine. I guess we'll just start murdering her instead. There we are. Just quickly just stab him with a sword that doesn't exist. Lovely. Job done. Right, so some people were trying to get out of here. Is that literally it? There was just a... I kind of thought we'd, like, you know, be allowed to speak to her and help her out or something. But no, unfortunately, she went hostile immediately. Still, we'll have her stuff while we're passing by. Biography of the Wolf Queen gets my speech up to 56. Very nice. I tell you what, it's not all bad working for Perry. I, like, if you two got this apartment to yourself, pretty much, yeah, this is a nice place for free. Right, back to the upper residence, whatever. And now, just to loop around to the top, presumably. Yep, here we go, up to the top of the room. I think we've already cleared out everyone here. And this will hopefully be now, yes indeed, uh, the door that leads hopefully to the airdrome, where I have to eventually go. Come on, airdrome. No, back to the bloody lower district. This place never bloody ends. Also, I do like your new hat. It is nice. Oh, you know what? I think I see you in there, guys. Yep, thought so. Just quickly get your... Oh, my light armor's going up. Very, very nice indeed. Clear out these lads. Just take out the workers. Good, good, good. I like how Vars can even see things that are still kind of hidden waiting to ambush you. That's very cool. Ooh, hello. Ooh, I like this room. This is a good room. Right, flipping here. Right, let's just get a... Down there. Distract them. Got a whole bunch of magic use here. What does this lever do? Ooh! Okay. Right. Should have just pulled the lever earlier, unfortunately. Ouch! Now they're bloody throwing things at me. Right, so... I think you're dead, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Conjuration 98. Ooh, I might have left the question about Conjuration a bit late. That's going to be 100 sooner rather than flipping later. Right, so... Got you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and... Need to actually flipping uh, close some wounds here. Because uh, getting a little bit on the injured side. Lovely. And just restoration up. Ben all runs in there. You attempt to go for me and totally miss. And down you go. I think Ben was finishing you off. Lovely. 
Right, maybe I'm just gonna pull this lever again so I don't accidentally chop my own face off. Nice. And what they're guarding was just... Honestly, not so much. Actually, that's not so bad. And I'm guessing that's guaranteed to spawn because that's very relevant to this quest, I suppose. Poison immunity up. Okay, that's not so bad. Now, more to come. Let's quickly check ahead. Yes, but not in this exact room. It's not fine. Next room over by the looks of things. Yeah, this place is cool. I like this place. There's some nice unique assets here. Right, round the corner we've got... Ah! Now, can I get over to you? Not quite. Hang on. Might be able to cast something over to them. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Now, let's see if we can cast something over to where the banelings are. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Cast that over towards the banelings. And he can take care of that. And Benor runs to catch up. Beautiful. Now, Everyone gets distracted. Dramora Lord is... I'm not sure if he's resistant to poison, but he just seems to be very little affected by it. Ah, flipping finally. This seems more like it. A study. Yeah, that feels like the sort of place where a guy who was, like, studying the Dwemer might be. Quick check here. No, it's still not the same bloody air anyway. And also, there's not much around here. All seems suspiciously quiet, in fact. Okay, we've got a bit of an interesting dilemma here, which is... At the top of this here slope, one of the bastard sphere guardian things spawns in. At the bottom of this slope, there's this button. Step on that, the blades come out. That's fine, but if I go up to the top by myself, by whirlwind sprinting, which was my initial plan, because otherwise Ben all pushes the button, I have to take that thing on by myself. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to avoid the button. Yep, fine. And I'm going to go up top, and I'm going to now lure this guy to activate... Yep, there we go. And now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to activate the things, and he's going to be shredded by them. Now, I've got a small problem, which is, what now happens to those? They just stay on forever. No, they now go away. They reset after one cycle. Good. So now what I'm going to do is go back up and look for some sort of, like, button or something to turn them... Turn them off. Because if there's not a button to turn them off... How am I going to get Benor up here because he refuses to bloody cooperate? No, I don't see any form of button or switch to deactivate this trap. So, okay. What we need to do then is basically get Benor to follow us and then get out of this area before he like accidentally gets himself and stuck in a situation where he might die from the blades. Right, Benor, follow me, but do it in such a way as you don't die. Okay, now I'm just going to go over here now. Right, straight past the blades. I get past the blades. Now I sprint for the door. Benor's being repeatedly slashed. Get back through to the lower district a bloody third time. And Benor is not dead. Nice. Well done, Benor. Quick vast reveals. Ooh. Okay, there's a big long line of people over there. That's of interest. What exactly is your deal? Okay. Are they still coming at this point? Hang on. Prepare. Prepare. Yeah, there they are. There's all of them. You know what? You go on ahead. Take care of that. I'm going to have... You are apparently decided to go ahead a little bit. Oh, no. You're going for Ben, all right? No, no, no. Okay, fine. They're splitting up kind of two and two. That's okay. You seem to be one-handed going up very nicely as well. No. Don't you flipping attack me. Don't you flipping attack me. I'm pretty sure I'm poisoned right now. You guys help with that. Lovely job done. Nice and simple. Now, I swear I saw... Ah, yes, indeed, I did see something over here. Because we've got a path up to, I think, three more people in a side room or something. There we are. So, ooh, hang on. We've got ourselves a thing there. Just send Dramora forward. Get in behind him. And one, two, three, four. Dead. Benor gets in behind. Supports. One more left over there. Lovely. And I get the kill. That wasn't really stabbing. That was kind of stabbing just in front of their face. But all right, fine, whatever. It's not really, you know, I'm more of a magic user than a swordy person. It's fine. You know, I don't mind doing this. I just wish Perry had been a bit more honest about the whole thing and just told me in the beginning, I'm now sending you into a ludicrously long mission where you need to kill 10 bajillion people and maybe like one other guy at the end. I don't really care. Now, please be the airdrome. Come on, airdrome. No, that's almost said airdrome, but then it said Arcanex instead. Ah, but this place is a bit different. Lit up. More of a cave, and... Is that flipping? Ah! Okay, this time it's all about spiders, okay. Right, Demora Lord, if you can, get down there, please, and just start taking them out. Lovely, and there's... 
Where's Benno gone? Has Benno already... I think Benno might have already run ahead, actually. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Benno's well ahead of the game here. He's already straight over there. Right. Help out Benno with one of the Guardians. Round the back of the other Guardian. Jump in the water if he starts going for me. And I feel like, yeah, we got this now. Then one Spider. And the Guardian wants a surprisingly bloody tough. But job is done. Right, I think uh, Moira went down. We'll replace Moira in time. That's fine. Right, so now we're in just flipping. Oh, wait, hang on. We are in the right section. We flipping are as well now. The question is, that's not him because it's not in the right direction. Fine. Ah, he did say, study the machines, which is presumably what's annoyed Periite. So, uh, fine. Expect a lot of machines to have to cut through. Including, I'm going to guess, a centurion or two at the end, but that's fine. I think we can have all centurions now. <laughs> Quick vass. No. Nothing around here. Something through here. That just looks like a couple of spiders through there. So that's nothing. Oh! Okay, watch out for the trap space, because I feel like that thing's going to shoot me in the face. Or, possibly, a centurion's going to do that for me. Right, everyone get in there, please. You guys go up there. Lovely. Centurion, nice. I'm just going to stay back here and support. Oh, yeah, these guys are now utterly destroying centurions. That's hilarious. And Benor's got this. Benor's got this. And boom, well done, Benor. Oh, hello, we got some more flipping spiders first. Just work as though. Just get some stuff there. Back off. Blimey, okay. <laughs> you know, just struggle for Centurion, but then a spider worker nearly flipping shanks me by surprise. Just double check this is all safe. Yeah, this all seems nice and safe now. A few more spiders yet, though. Yeah, this corridor's safe, however. Round the corner to the left, there's some... Oh, that was just bats. Just bats, it's fine. Ah. This corridor feels like the sort of... Yep. Right, so prepare, prepare, there we go, got the attack in before you even spawned properly, screw you. Right, bit more one-handed for me, and over there, and one more over there, is Moira faded, I think Moira's faded, let's just get a bit of extra firepower back there, round to you, round to you, oh yeah, very, very nice indeed. Now, the guy should be somewhere over here, and I think I do indeed detect him over there, fine. We might be able to do a proper badass assassination of that guy, I think. Seems eminently feasible. Let's just stay back here. He should be over there somewhere. Put the bats in. Yeah, he's in the room. He's over there. Okay, right. Dramora Lord, stay here for a sec. I want to say stay here. I'm just going to slightly slit your throat there. Lovely. No hard feelings next time I summon you. Benor, you stay here as well, all right? I'm not going to slit your throat. I'm just going to tell you to wait here, all right? I love you too much to slit your throat. Let's prepare to badass this guy, okay? Because I suspect we can. Prepare for badass mode. The three things every assassin needs. A badass dagger, a muffle, and the ability to see where my enemies are with Vass. Right. There he is. Right. No, 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 no. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you there. I see you there. Question is, how are we going to get to him? Ooh, this is going to be a bit tricky. He's, uh, is he a high elf? Looks like a high elf from the hair. We need to distract him because he's walking backwards and forwards. Okay. Got a plan for that. Throw voice. Let's see if he responds to that. Now, what if I lured him to right over here? Is that good enough to... Yeah, that's good enough to get his attention. It's good enough to get his attention. And round the back, 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 round the back. And... Oh, gosh darn it. Didn't quite work. And unfortunately, it looks like he's tough enough that probably won't work. You know what, Benor? I feel like this is possibly a three-person mission. Because that didn't go so hot. I mean, 15 times what I just did wouldn't even be that flipping much. So, let's get that in over here. He's got some powerful magics here. You getting over there. And now, time to try to shout I've not actually bothered with yet. But go on, I'll give it a flipping go. So, slow time. Go. Oh, he's... Wait, what? Why is he doing that? That's that's really annoying that he did that just then. Oh, okay, I see. You're just going to teleport away from me, are you? No, 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 no. Well, I say no, 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 no. I can't really do much more to it. This is that moment of time. Right, go, go, go. Yes, he's got the teleport ability. 
which is very annoying. Also, the resist fire, which is really annoying because, oh, avoid that spell. I know it's really bloody powerful because that's exactly when I activated my bloody shell. Actually, speaking of which, no, 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 no. I've got a plan for you. If you're going to try and teleport away from me, you can't if you've been turned into ice. So, there you- Oh, you bastard! You absolute bastard! Right, someone get on top of him, please. And where's the- Where's Benor? Oh, I froze everyone! I froze Benor! Benor! Be Benor, is that- Where's Benor? Oh, no, there he is. No, no, he is up. He is up and about. That's fine. Right. So he's down to about half health. Wait for him to teleport again. And then get to the bastard, bastard guy. Right. In the bag. In the bag. This guy's got a lot of flipping health. Sorry, Ben Or, But he doesn't seem to be able to actually hit. Oh, stay out of the way that bloody spell. Stay out of the way that spell. Yeah, he's got the poison thing. Right. Wait for him to teleport again. But this time, we're almost ready for an ice form. Right. Prepare, 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 prepare. No. Stay out of the way. There you. Oh, did he just resist that? I think he did. Oh, I think he got a ward up because wards do let you resist bloody shouts. Yeah, I feel like even a 15 times thing would not have necessarily worked that well against this guy. This guy seems pretty bloody tanky. Also, he's bloody healing as well. Right, get him down. Just a couple more teleportations now. Should have him done. And no, don't you heal up. Don't you flipping heal up. He's actually healing off more damage per round than I'm doing to him. Just very irritating. Get on him. Oh, he's really tough. How is this guy this tough? He's wearing bloody robes. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. If he keeps bloody healing every time he teleports, which I think he is, uh, this is going to take a while. Have found you. Wait, where? Where's he gone? Oh, is he flipping up top? Oh, what? And he just healed as well. What a bastard this guy is. This guy's a dick. Oh, we've almost got him. We've almost flipping. Oh, yes. Okay, I think that was his last spot. Fine. That was his last spot. Now, what did you have on you that was so bloody special? We've got yourself key to an elevator. Reality another falsehood, which apparently I've no, I have not already read. Fine, that's a new alteration book. Lovely. A sapphire extreme destruction ring. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, health regenerates 20% faster. Just some basic stuff other than that. And a steel dagger of binding. Nope, I've already got the bound sword. That's fine. Staff of fury. I can do without that. It's not even that great. Blimey. Okay, you were bloody tanky, my man. You were flipping tanky. Now, where's Benor? Because technically he was set to to stay where he is, not follow. Uh, so I need to go and find where Benor ended up standing at the end of that fight in order to pick him up again. There he is. Hello, Benor. Yeah, I guess that's like where he makes his last stand up here in that particular position. That's kind of the last place he goes to because he made no attempt to teleport away from him. That was the first time we'd actually seen him do that. So, yep, open up the door. Got ourselves one elevator. Lovely. And out we go. And yes, indeed, that door I saw earlier was indeed the Skyrim door. Beautiful. Now, back to Periite, I guess. I'm trying to remember what he offered me at this point. It was some form of defensive thing or something, wasn't it? It probably wasn't that good, but screw it, let's get it anyway. Well done, mortal. All things are in their order. And Orchendor roams the pits. His betrayal will be punished. And your obedience is rewarded. I can ask him what will become of the afflicted, but it's a bit of an odd question given I've literally just murdered all of them. Did you leave any alive? The afflicted are mere vessels for my blessing. It will spread to others through their touch and my own. Fair enough. I'm glad he's aware that I killed all of them. Another overseer will replace Orchendor when the time comes. For now, all is cleansed and ordered. Okay, so he's happy with everyone being dead and this just being a bit of a do-over. Well, that's fine. And what's happening next, if anything? Go. Seek your fate. I will be watching. And perhaps we will meet again afterwards. And I'm guessing I've already got the thing as I was indeed seeing that, yeah, I'm over encumbered, so I've been given something. Embrace order and hard truth, mortal. Goodbye. 
So, by Periite, it's been lovely, and the thing empties, and back to the real world. Lovely. Well, that's nice. Can I tell you about my awesome adventure at all? Do you care in any capacity? Yes. No? No, he does not. Now he's just saying yes to me. Right, what have I just picked up then? I assume it was a thing in the uh, defensive nature, wasn't it? Ooh, hello. Right. Well, this is bloody sexy. We've got ourselves... Heavy armor, a shield, the spell breaker, while blocking creates a ward that protects against spells for up to 50 points. Okay, that's seriously badass. Right, handed some stuff over to Benor. Now, that dragon wall I saw earlier. Now, I know I saw it in this direction, but I know if I go to it directly, I end up like massively above it. So I need to work my way down and around. So actually... Going down the path I already kind of went wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, if I just kind of loop around in this sort of a direction. There's also a random bear. You know what? I can take care of a bear. If I don't need to kill it. I'm not killing it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to illusion it instead. Don't worry, bear. I'm just going to calm you. There we are. Everything's fine. Oh, but there's something big going on down there. Hello. We've got a flipping wizard duel going on here. Okay, who are the two sides in this? This is all very interesting. We've got a fire wizard taking on presumably an ice wizard, I'm guessing. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they've decided to go for me as well. That's less good. Go for each other, please. Um, there we are. They've done back for each other again now. Beautiful. Yeah, there's just a fire wizard, presumably an ice wizard taking each other on here. Right, Benor, let's just get in there and finish this off, please. Yeah, bit of a debate between fire and ice in wizardry going on here, but that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We'll just quickly finish off the ice wizard. No, don't have to heal up. Now, everyone over to the fire wizard, please. Let's just also take out him. Not quite sure why there's just a uh, inter-wizard duel going on. A bit of a debate that got out of hand about the various forms of magic. Now, don't let him heal and stab. Lovely, well done. Now, this is interesting. The fire wizard had the spell book for ice spike on them. But any chance with the Ice Wizard have had something about fire on their person? Um, fear poison recipe? No. No, possibly that was just an odd coincidence that in a fight between a fire and an Ice Wizard, the fire wizard actually had an ice spell on them. Oh, I feel like there's some drama going on behind the scenes there. Right. And I think we found the location as well. But, inevitably, the location of... Oh, I should have left them alive. They probably have turned on the bloody dragon with me. But now as it turns out, we're going to have to take on a bloody dragon by ourselves. I want to say dragon. Where's the dragon? Okay, it's called Dragon Tooth Crater. That feels pretty dragony to me. Yes, but... Oh! I think we found the dragon. Yes! Now, question is, what dragon, how bad is this? Ah, burnt corpses. Not too surprising. Fine, so some bandits lived here, and then the dragons returned and decided to reclaim their spot. Gotcha. Benor says I'll rip you in half. There was a... Ooh, ultimate magic potion. Very, very nice indeed. Right, if we're into trouble, I can hide in here, which is good. Also, chest. Just 63 gold, nothing made. Fine. Got a good spot to hide here. Now, what I need to do, however, is... Absolutely, I need to conjure Storm. Storm again will help out with this. Right, so, Stormy. Oh, blimey, there's a lot of flipping... Ooh, what the... Okay. Oh, no, 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 mind. You were there. You were flipping there. Right. You go around there, and you just basically clap, clap, clap at that. Oh, it's a basic dragon. Oh. Sorry, I was worried for a second, but no. It's a basic bloody dragon. No need to be worried at all. Right, well, in that case, ignore it completely. Ooh. A big dragon skeleton here or something. That's cool. Right, I'm just going to ignore the dragon and just go and learn the word. Screw you. You know what? My action, I can take care of that. Battle Elemental Fury. Okay, meanwhile over here, gold, lockpicks, conjure. I'll take mass paralysis. I can do without the rest of that, I think. Yeah, that's all fine. Right, hello over there. And actually, you're barely doing that much damage to me at all, to be perfectly honest. Now, he's just landed. So let's just get over there and do some damage to him. Oh, bloody hell, Ben. Oh, you missed your bloody chance. Right, next time he lands, I'm just going in to deal with him myself. Speaking of which, there we Go and just get close enough to him to be hitting him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? This isn't going so hot for you, is it? No. No. Can we finish you in a single cycle? On the ground? Yes, indeed we can. It's 
Screw you, dragon. Right, now what's this battle elemental fury business I've just picked up while I just pick up your soul? Oh, it's the second word of that thing I picked up already, where, yeah, I can basically have my sword Pikmin enchantment if it kind of doesn't already have one, so... In which case, that's a shame, because I'm pretty sure, like, because I'm enchanting on my weapons, I just can't do anything with that one, so we'll leave that be. But I will, however, take your soul. While I'm passing by, I will never turn down a free soul, because I might find a more useful word down the road. And loving my new potent Storm Atronach. Yeah, I didn't realise this, because I've taken the thing that makes the Atronach more powerful, all my action acts in the form of Stormy and Frosty and Flame Boob Lady, they're now all potent. They're potent. It's not because I did the permanent flame thrall thing. It's just because I've got the perk that makes them more powerful. That's what makes them potent. So really, I'm not sure whether more is supposed to have that or not. I'm just not sure. Still, out of here. That was nice and quick and simple. Right, in which case, let's make some actual bloody progress towards Mark after day at the bare minimum. Let's just travel back to Carthwaston. And now from Carthwaston, we've got ourselves a misty but not too bad morning here. Yeah, we go back down the road and then loop over to this bit of road down here. And this is supposed to be the way that leads to Markarth. Which is very, very nice to digest, and we do seem to be heading in exactly the right direction. A lovely little kind of valley road right by the river. Very, very cool indeed. But I am interested. Well, actually, I was interested in what appears to be like the barrow over there. But I can't help but notice over here, there's some big ruins that don't appear to have any actual compass marking associated with them. Aside from just a random cave in that direction. So... What are those, if not like a big ruin of some description? Also, that barrow might just be like up top of those hills over there, which might be a bit hard to get to, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately it's not quite... Well, actually, I might be able to get up to... Hmm. This guy might be able to like climb up from there up to here, but I don't see a way to get necessarily up top from... from there. I might be able to, you know. No, that looks pretty... That looks pretty impassable. I think I need to find a different way up. But right here we've got Blind Cliff Cave. Okay, this doesn't look like the nicest place in the world, to be perfectly honest, but I'm willing to give it a look, see? Because, well... And also... Kind of a notice. More flipping standing stones over there. Okay, this might be a way up to the top of the cliff. In which case, yeah, let's go check it out. And hello. What on earth have we got here? This is intriguing. We've got some red mist. And I could have just knocked those down, but... Ah, it's Forsworn! Okay, are we into Forsworn territory at this point? That's intriguing. We've got... Ah, it's about to go explode! There we go. Watch out for all of that. Be careful of Stormy. When he does his big clap thing, it does make all those things fall down. Right, let's just let all that oil just burn off for a second. Let's get an Ulra Whisper in here as well. See what we're all running into. It's... Okay. Quite a bit of stuff. I think we can handle it, though. I mean, so far, we haven't really had much trouble with the Force Sworn. It's been basically live and let live, but I feel like potentially it's now time to actually start dealing with them. I was about to say they're getting in my way, but they're not really. I'm just invading their house. So get over there. Lovely. One of you's down. Then we've got ourselves a Force Sworn looter. Yeah, these guys seem pretty squishy. We should go to cut our way through them. And actually... I need to flip and recharge this sword. Okay, good. I'm going to need one of your immortal souls for this. And enchanting has just gone up to 86. By coincidence, that actually has pushed my enchanting up. Yeah, you get a tiny bit of enchanting every time you recharge your weapon. It's just such a tiny amount. The odds of it actually being what pushes you over the edge is fairly low. But it has happened on this occasion, I think, for the very first time. Right, one pillager here. Her soul will make an excellent uh, candidate for my collection. So just finish her off. And did she just kill? No, she just killed me instead. Never mind. And yes, indeed, as I suspected, at the top of this here cave, we can actually skip out to the Blind Cliff Towers. Presumably, the towers I saw. Though, yeah, weirdly, they went to map marker. Okay, this is cool. The challenger is near. You always think a challenger is near. Maybe some people don't actually care about challenging you. Maybe you're the one who's being a dick here, Moira. And we've got ourselves... Aha! Right, leave it here. Activate all of this, and I saw something Ravager. That's always a good sign. And I think I'm actually quite close to the Standing Stones. Good. Found a good shortcut up to them. Help myself to some money as well. Lovely. Now, where's this guy? Ah, there we are. Forsworn Ravager. I uh, need to... Okay, need to be a bit more careful with the Forsworn. 
There we are. Just let them do the work. Let them do the work and then just kick him off a cliff. Lovely. Back down you go to where I was, you stupid bastard. Now, what is going on here exactly? Because we've got... Ooh. Right. we got big cliffs. we got big, big cliffs here. And I'm suspecting a whole bunch of bloody Forsworn dust around to... Ooh. Hello. Right. Frost Atronach. They can actually get to me, I think. So what I'm going to do quickly is just put you over there. Very nice. You can take care of that for me. So you just take out those lads. Benor's around somewhere. Where's Benor? Benor? Where's Benor? Benor's run off. Okay. Yeah, I think it needs to be to work my way up these towers. Ah, okay. We're basically doing the old double tower trick again. Fine. Seen this before. Let's just work our way up then, assuming Ben will hasn't fallen off already. Hopefully he hasn't. Right, make sure ice form is set. Ice form is good. And you're dead. Lovely. That was my kill. I totally did all the work there. Beautiful. Yeah. So, Forsworn, who are being a little bit on the dangerous side right now. You've taken out... Probably you took out the Atronach. There's a nice little thing. Somebody's going to head up top to presumably the bridge at this point. Yep, fine. Just get a new one of you up there. Make sure you lead the charge. You can kind of tank me. Like, you know, I don't need a shield. When basically, if anyone's shooting at me, I can just cast a monstrosity from hell forward. No, 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 you don't. There we go. That's a really dangerous mover to do, by the way. Actually, kind of you know, grabbing him from behind and then stabbing through him backwards. Like, I feel like the sword would go into me a large proportion of the time. Just check. Where's Ben all gone? Oh, he'll catch up. It's fine. We've got ourselves a door here. Ooh, Blind Cliff Bastion. Okay, and this is... Ooh. Okay. Right. Problem is I... Ah! Right, I see. I need to go into the Blind Cliff Bastion, find my way up another couple of levels, come out the top, then come round and down. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, a treasure in there. Right, and Benor's caught up. Lovely. Right. In we go, I guess. Now, how bad is this situation in here? And the answer is... One person, not much by the looks of things. Everything seems under control. Ooh, hello there. Hagraven in a cage. I feel like I shouldn't trust her, but let's get your story at least. Petra, evil Petra put me here, stole my tower, hid her, chew her bones, let me out, kind, kind meat. Okay, I like the fact she called me kind. I don't like the fact she calls me meat. So, it's a bit of column A, bit of column B here. Now, what do I get if I free you, Melka? Ah, you have a pretty staff. Help me find Petra. Wring her neck, pluck her eyes. Take my prize staff. I just want my tower back. You know what? I do actually like... This whole... Wait, is this thing open? I think this might be... No, never mind. It wasn't open. Right, let's let her out. I like staffs. Yes, Count Let us go up. Find Mirka on the Nice. Way. So now we've got a Hagraven, Benor, and also Moira. This'll work. Press only middle button. Clever trick. Yes. Nobody ever thinks of the middle. I quite like just basically set her on fire or kill her right now. But okay, middle button it is. Just middle button. Marvellous. She's quite useful. Now, where's this woman? Oh, we found someone. And now it's going to be flipping four against one. Lovely. So just go for them. Marvellous. Now, don't don't attack her, though. There's a trick to this. The trick is to not bleed to death. Uh, and there's a lever, too. You know what? I quite like you. There's a trick to this, don't bleed to death. I do quite like you a lot. But also, there's a way around. So let's just go the way around that involves not dying, yes. Secret lever needs to be pulled. Can you do that? Yes, you can. Marvellous. Does that uh, turn off all the swingy blades by any chance? Yes, it does. You know what? I'm glad we released her. She's been bloody useful. And when we run into Petra, oh, I'm not feeling good for Petra. Four against one. Hagraven, Dramora Lord, me and Bedro. I mean, I barely count. But the other three, they're damn good. Right, anyone else actually in this tower, by the way? Let's just quickly vast it up. Doesn't seem like it. Seems... Oh, a couple of people over there, perhaps. And we've got ourselves... Ah, Forsworn Looter. Lovely. Let's just take out these intruders first. They go down stupidly fast. Now, these are apparently her chambers, including... Yep, nice little alchemy lab and some... Just search her satchel. 
I can do without that, to be honest. And another handle there for another secret, but not particularly secret door. Right, that opens up another way down there. Let's just quickly clear out all the rest of these guys. I think there's someone else in here. Ooh, there's a mining as well. Ooh, Quicksilver ore. Nice, that's not even that flipping bad. Now, this leads out to... Oh, no, no, that's just a wooden door. Hello. Smell weakness, do you? Right, you go up front. Conjuration, conjuration is a hundred. Conjuration has actually hit a hundred, fine. So we've run into that problem uh, pretty bloody fast. Now, in go all these guys. You apparently are struggling to actually get up to these people. I'll help you out with the looter over here. Lovely, so I'm helping out Melka with this looter. Goes down, and then Ben or over there. I love how everyone's fighting. Oh, is this Petra right here? You know what? I think Petra might be screwed. I think Petra might be in a lot of trouble, in fact. Okay, that was easy to do. Oh, by any chance is this new? Yes, indeed it is. Restoration up to 67. Lovely. Petra, close her eyes. Yep, she is indeed dead. So, what's exactly your plan now, Melka? Live in my tower. Roast in my home. Mix pretty poisons and collect shiny eyeballs. Yes. You know what? It's no less flipping evil than anything I've done. So I'm not going to complain. And is your staff in this chest by any chance? And it is no. No, it's not. Give me the damn staff. Such a kind nibble you are. Look, I expect the reward, please. Yes, yes. My staff. Take it. Kill something pretty with it. And I get the Eye of Melka. Okay, what exactly is an Eye of Melka? The Eye of Melka is fire explosion for 40 points damage and 15 foot radius. Tokes on fire take extra damage. Okay, so that's basically um the fireball spell, but in staff form, isn't it? You know what? Why not? I'll use it on occasion, I'm sure. And if I'm right, I'm assuming there's going to be a Ben. I'll get out of the way. I'm assuming there's going to be a nice way out up here. If I just pull this chain, this will be a way outside. I'm going to... No. This is just where someone might have been kept as a prisoner. I'm not sure. Right, okay. So just... Ah, no, this will be the right way then. Fine, hang on. Activate the door bar. Open the wooden door. Yes, this will be where I want to go. Now, if I'm right, yes, indeed. Go up here, and then Dramora Lord passes away very, very tragically, but that's fine, Mori. We'll bring you back in a second. Now drop down here, to here, to a couple of extra chests here. Beautiful. Though, in all fairness, there's not much going on here that's particularly of interest. A few bits of jewelry and whatever. Nothing as good as what we just got off her. So, that's fine. Now, no, 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 no. Things just got a little bit, uh, interesting in some way, which is, of course, we just picked up a hundred conjurations. So conjuration is now as high as it can be. And this puts us in an interesting position. Very, very interesting indeed, because I've got a choice here. And this is something where if you've never actually played like a Skyrim, the final like legendary edition might actually be news to you. So what you can do with a level hundred skill, hang on, go over to skills here is conjuration. I can make it legendary. Now, making it legendary basically resets it to its lowest available level, which is 15. But I'll get all of the perks I invested back, or rather, I mean, like, the perk points, because, obviously, I can't have taken them anymore because I will be too low level to have taken them. However, that means I no longer get all the benefits. I don't get double duration. I don't get uh, twice as far away, and I really like summoner. I don't get elemental potency. I don't get soul stealer anymore, though I will be able to get that one back pretty quickly, I'll lose all of that. But I'll gain the perks that I can assign to any other tree that I wish. And the advantage of that is, of course, I can then start leveling the skill again, which is arguably useful, but uh, I'm not convinced I necessarily... You know what? I've literally never done this before. Like, I've never played Skyrim in enough detail to get a skill up to 100 on this edition before. Last time I did it was before Legendary existed. So I'm going to do it now, because screw it, it'll be nice to have some extra points. Plus, Conjuration is a skill I'm going to be leveling up very, very quickly. So, like, I'm going to make this Legendary. Yes, make it to 15, return its perks. Am I sure? Yes, I am. Are you sure you want to make this skill Legendary? Yes, I still am. And now that skill is legendary, and I have got 15 skill points I can spend here. And obviously I'm going to spend one right away on Novice Conjuration. 
So, actually, no offense, like, I never even took flipping, um, expert conjuration, or sorry, adept conjuration. So, I can still cast my Atronachs just as I ever could. They're no more or less expensive. It's just now they're not going to last as long. I can't cast them as far away. So that's a shame. But still, it's nice to have this. So, you know what? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Now, that gives me six extra perk points I can associate somewhere else to other things. So, over here in Restoration, what have I got? Healing also does stamina. I can do without that, I think. I could get an extra bit of recovery. Yeah, you know what? Let's get recovery maxed out. So that's magical regeneration up even flipping further. Now, I know for a fact over in enchanting, what I want to do is I don't need soul squeezer, but it wouldn't hurt to have, uh, hmm, frost enchanter. Is that really necessary? No, I feel like that's not that necessary. What I'm going to do instead is definitely over in one-handed. I can take straight away armsman up to five out of five. I don't feel like I need any of this. Like, I've always felt like the one-handed perks are a bit feeble, to be honest. Not least it's like, you don't commit to sword versus mace versus axe. Well, I guess maybe you can do if you're crafting your own weaponry, but I personally am not, so it feels kind of pointless. Light armor. What could I do here that might be fun? So that's just bonuses for wearing all light armor, but I'm not doing that yet, so that doesn't really help me much either. Could do some more fun stuff with sneak, so... Uh, Pressure plates and silent roll. Mm. Walking and running does not affect detection. No offense, I've got muffle, which kind of counteracts all of that already. And with muffle, I don't need to take any more stealth either. You know what? I'm just going to hold on to those other four points. I'm just going to hold on to them because we'll get conjuration moving up pretty quickly again. Because next time we actually run into anything... How am I going to get up there? That's going to be a bit... Hmm. Okay, that's going to be tricky. Actually, this looks like it... When I say this looks like it might be a way up, this looks incredibly steep, but by Skyrim standards, it might be climbable. Just hammer that jump button and hope it works. Nope, I'm not sure if we're full on invisible walling here, but I'm not making any... Oh, oh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Come on, just a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Just side to side and hit that jump button. Other option, whirlwind sprint. Nope, nothing getting out of that. No, I'm not getting up there, unfortunately. Ah, but this convenient little river pass here, that might be even more well. I'm probably about to fall to my death, but just in case I'm not... Oh, oh, yep, maybe, just not quite good, not dead yet. Here we go, this little river pass right up here. This is nice, I can just walk up the flow, probably, and get myself... Yeah, there we go, now... What exactly is it I've stumbled onto here? Because this does not look like some of the others at all. This is the... The Lover Stone. Okay, the Lover Stone is... Uh, Those under the sign lover always feel a lover's comfort. All skills improve faster. Ah, okay, so just straight up literally everything improves a bit better. Okay, I can probably do without that, to be perfectly honest. Fine, it was nice to get up there. And obviously Benor's not making it up here with me, so I'm just going to go back down and try and join up with Benor again. Hopefully without falling to my death. Okay, the rejoining the path thing didn't work, so I'm just going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to see if that works a bit better. So hopefully Benor will find a way to catch up with me down here, because now I think I'm... Yeah, now I'm just slightly further along the same area, but now Benor's like up there or something. So please catch up with me. Please catch up with me. Ben there he is! Well, bloody done, Banner. That was actually quite complicated. And as it turns out, we've managed to make it... I think that's Karth Waston over there. Yeah, I think we've managed to make it from... Starting from Karth Waston. <laughs> we've made it to here. We've made it about half the way to Markov. But next time, we're going to make it. Though I can't have noticed down this path down here, there's something pretty big... To... No! No! Resist! Resist going that way. Do not go that way. We're going to follow the road to... It's quite nice to... It's got, like, waterfront thing over there, whatever that is. No, no, it's Forsworn. No, next time, we're just going to follow this bloody road straight down to Markarth. That's what we're doing, because we're doing this for the... Thieves Guild? Yeah, translating a book. Translating a book for the Thieves Guild. That's what we're going to do next time. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. 
Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead. 